Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery and one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is can I use off-camera flash with Sony? Um, the answer is yes and I've done a lot of research. I spent all my own money. All this gear that I've bought is all stuff that I've purchased. And I want to show you guys what works for me. I have four different types of, of either speed lights or strobes that I'm going to show you that will work with your Sony's. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a system from Youngyo a system from um, Pocket Wizard. I'm going to show you a system from Photix, uh, Odin from Photix, and I'm going to show you one from Interfit and let you guys decide which one is best for you. All right, so first off is the Photix system, guys. You can use the Photix system. I did a separate video on this that, that covers high speed sync and everything, but with this system, you can use the Photix Odin transmitter with the Photix Metros for Sony transceiver flashes. These flashes work really well with the Photix Metro system. Um, you get the high speed sync, you get the transceivers built into the flashes, and you get a transmitter that will allow you to adjust the power ratios. This is the most advanced system um, that, that uh, is available for Sony users right now, and uh, I really recommend it. The next system is the Interfit Strobe system. Um, what I love about the Interfit is you can adjust the power levels from the transmitter to the strobes directly from the transmitter. So the ability to adjust your power ratios on your flashes is only available through the Photix Metro system or through the Interfit system. So this was one, this is my, one, my system that I brought over from Nikon. Okay, they don't have one specific to Sony and it doesn't matter. The transmitter goes right onto your camera, okay? and then you put the receiver right here into the side. The receiver is a USB port, so it goes right in. You don't need a separate battery for this, for this, which I think is really cool. You set your channels here. It's more of a manual based system from that regard, but it works just as well. So I set this to channel zero, for example. I turn it on. This goes down to the battery pack, and since this has a battery pack, this is going to have an incredibly fast recycling time. So um, this system, the advantage of this system, this does not offer high speed sync, but the advantage to this system is that it's much more powerful and the recycle time is insane. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about real quick here. So turn it to the side. Okay. So as you can see, I can adjust. You hear it going there. That beeping is telling, it's, it's communicating and changing the power ratio, which is really cool. Okay. So I love that. As you can see, it fires. There was no special setup. Literally, transmitter on camera, receiver onto the strobe, fires. And to kind of give you an idea of how fast it is, I'm going down to like a fourth of a power. You see how fast that recycles compared to you know other systems that don't have a battery pack. It, it's incredibly faster. Kind of give you guys an idea of its power kind of hold it right here. This is at one to one. Very, very bright. Okay. So this is a great system to use if you guys want, if you don't need high speed sync, this is what I would recommend. If you need high speed sync, I'd go with the Photix Metros. So I really love this system. I've used it for about a year now. Um, they're fantastic. So um, again, you don't need any special triggers for Sony. All you do is get one for Nikon, slips right onto your camera, works no problem. These next two systems are what I get asked a lot about, okay? And the reason I get asked a lot about these two systems is because it's systems that people already have. It's not something they have to go purchase. Um, these two systems will work with your legacy flashes. They'll work with Canon and or with Nikon. This is the Youngyo system, okay? I bought the transmitter and two transceivers for $120. This is the least expensive option out of all of these. This goes right on there. This is my Nikon SB910 flash going right onto the Youngyo. Turn it on. You can see the lights coming on right there. Just to show you guys that it works, I'm going to fire it, test fire it. Okay, so you see it's working. It's Billy Bob Thornton down there. All right, so you see I'm just firing the test button. This is the 622N. If you get the if you get the Canon, it's the 622C. Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters as long as you, you have to match it up with the flash that you have. So if you have existing Nikon flashes or Canon flashes and you want to get something that just triggers it, this is how it works. So it'll go on just like this. Now here's the trick. Hold this real quick. 
When I went to do this, I put it right onto the shoe of the camera, onto my Sony, and I went to fire it, it didn't fire. And I'm like, that sucks. So I spent all night Googling stuff. I spent all night looking for stuff. YouTube videos, there were none, which is why I'm making one. It doesn't work. I'm pissed off, because when I push the test button, it works. So clearly it's an issue when it gets put onto the shoe. So here's what I figured out, okay? I have to take it, and we'll do a close up on this in a minute, but there's a little niche where you find it. Did you hear the flash talk to it? Mm -hmm. You don't push it all the way in, and it fires. Isn't that crazy? There's no special setup. It's literally just you have to find the right groove in the shoe to make it work. Now to give you guys an idea, Jason, get a close up so they can see, because you would normally think there's no way, tell me when you got it, you would think there's normally no way that it would fire like that, because you would assume that it has to go all the way in, but it's not, it's just a little bit back, and you can hear, it's when those two back pins come off. Okay, so let me put it on again, here we go. Do you hear that click? You gotta find it right. There we go. See? You just gotta play with it until you find it. Now the good thing is, it is nice and snug. Once you find it and you tighten it up, you can use it for, for shooting purposes. It's not a problem in any way, shape, or form. So once you find that groove, you just fire it off and you're fine. So the Young Yo system works. Again, this is about 120 bucks for the whole system and it'll fire your legacy flashes so you can put as many as you want, which is fantastic. The Pocket Wizards, you can turn both of them on. Okay, you just want to make sure they're on channel one, group A, if that's what you want to do. These are my Nikon pocket wizards that I've had for about four years, three years, something like that. Regardless, it's been a long time I've had them. Okay, so again, this is in manual mode now. With Pocket Wizard and Young Yo, you don't have any of the functionality of being able to change power ratios or anything like this, but if you just want a triggering system, this is the way to go. Okay, so see there it fires. Hold this. Now Pocket Wizard, they're real finicky. You want to make sure to have this up. Okay, show you guys, turn this up. fires. So the bottom line is all these systems work on Sony and these are Nikon based systems. When people say there aren't options for Sony they're just misinformed I guess is the po most polite way to put it. There are tons of options available for you to be able to use your system. So to recap basic triggering systems you get Pocket Wizard or Young Yo. Okay. Pocket Wizards are Young Yo. The Pocket Wizards I think these TT5s are about 150 bucks a pop so maybe $300 for to t for two of them and then you can just add more upon that. So the Pocket Wizard, you know, uh, probably has a little bit further of a distance, but but discernible difference between Pocket Wizard and Young Yo, not much. I guess the biggest advantage to Pocket Wizard is the fact that you don't have to worry about where it goes on the shoe. So if you're really in a pinch for time and you just want to shoot and you don't want to worry about finding that niche, then get Pocket Wizards, guys. They work. And you guys know, you know, over the years, it's not like I've shown a ton of love for Pocket Wizards, so I'm really trying to be objective and just show you guys what works. I was surprised they worked, but clear as day, they work. Now, I will want to point something out. Inside, um, I plugged my Pocket Wizards in a couple years ago, and I made them basic triggers. So just that, that may be a difference. I want to make that clear. In, in order to do that, all you do is you go and you plug your USB cable into the US into the Pocket Wizard here. It'll it'll open up something on your computer and you can change 
these and make them dedicated to just being basic triggers. That might be why they work, but sure enough, they sure work for me. So to recap, this is the Youngyo 622N. This is, uh, for the whole kit, 120 bucks, and it fires, you just gotta find that groove. Pocket Wizard for the TT5s if you want a transmitter. These are actually transceivers, but if you want them to communicate, each one's about 150 bucks or so. Uh, so it's about $300 and they work and you don't have to worry about finding them in the groove, which is great. So that's another option. Again, these are both manual options. You have to adjust, you have to walk over to your flash and adjust it. But if you're looking into just starting off in an off-camera flash, this is the way to go. This is the Interfit strobe system. Again, this is about the strobes. I think the price has changed. I'm not sure. They have two different models. They have the 180 and the 360. And the 180, I think it's about $300. And the 360 is about four or five hundred. So this is a more expensive option. The triggers are relatively, and the receivers, the transmitter and receivers are relatively inexpensive. Um, and so I think for two lights plus the transmitter receiver, you're looking at maybe eight hundred dollars. Um, the battery comes with it, which is great, and the batteries last forever. So if you're looking for a powerful option, Interfit's going to be the way to go. And last but not least is the Photix Metro system. Again, this is the Odin system with the Metro system, but they do talk. I did a separate video on these. They, this is the only option for high speed sync. Uh, and again, these are about 400 bucks a pop. This is about two, $300 with a receiver. So again, about $1,000 is probably your most expensive option, but it offers you high speed sync. So that's, if you're really looking to get into uh, off camera flash, this is the way to go and the interfits. But if you're looking for basic, get the Young Yo or the Pocket Wizard. So I hope this has helped. I hope you guys have been able to see there are options available out there for Sony users. You don't need to be afraid to enter the Sony universe. And you know what guys, um, I'm not hating on any other company. You know, I use these with Nikons for years and I love the Nikon when I used it. So it's just a matter of you guys finding what works best for you. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Um, and always find ways to um, find what works rather than buying into conventional wisdom where people tell you stuff won't work because it's just not true. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Please thumbs up and like. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you later.